Hi, Jack Plehall with Being Solutions here. I want to walk you through a model that will help you understand, say a small group of models, that will help you understand what goes wrong when you're implementing strategy. And this comes from looking at large scale strategies like mergers and acquisitions or technology implementations, large scale strategy or even small scale strategy. Uh, from, from years of work and change management and inside of stra strategic implementations. This is what I've seen and what's been written up in many ag magazines, but will give you an angle on this that you haven't seen anywhere before, I don't think. So let's start with this. If you look at an implementation of anything, there's essentially two sides to it. What I will refer to as the hard side which is what you'll very often see inside of your project management documents. It'll be the different stages with the different details, with what have you. It's all the planning and all the, 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 the logistics and the how we're going to do it and all the really great outlines of plans. And then there's the, what we'll call the soft factors. Now, when I write this up, you know where I'm going. This is really where things go wrong, and it's why agile methodologies have, have really been taking hold because it gives you a better chance to do some planning, bring it into the realities of human beings in, in, their, in their environments, and go back to the planning and, and do a much tighter cycle. But still, I don't see many people that are understanding, okay, what, what, is to, what is it about these human factors we can actually put our hands on to deal with this? So let me put, it, put a linear progression in place that will first give us a, a simple flat look at this. And then I'll do a third and final model that will help to, to break it back out and put some handles on it for you. So ultimately, what we're looking at in any of this is the achievement of results, hitting targets. Now, what do we do to hit targets? Well, we take actions. Actions to targets. Actions hit here. Actions miss. Actions hit the center. How do we do that? Let's do it some more. This is the type of action, tar action target, action target. Relates to Scrum, relates to how most managers manage. Now, we take a step back and we look at this and very often organizations will go, yeah, but we need something better, we need something more. So what do you do? Well, you create a good new plan. Or you uh, do some new technology. Or likely, you know, the combination of technology and plan. We do, we do some sort of structural shift. And that can be strategy, it can be technology, it can be any sort of structural level shift to get a better lever on what's going on on the action to drive the better results. Now, what happens in most of these cases is what we're talking about here. Well, where does it go wrong? So, we've been around the block a little bit. We've all seen that it's... I'll just call human beings emotions and let's just leave it at that for now and say you got human beings and their emotions and their stuff and that's what's going on. I don't think I'll get much argument around this. Um, and we've seen it in most cases wreck the best of plants and the best of technologies in combination and everything to the side goes right there with it. So I'm going to bring this out to its final level and that is You may see where I'm going with this. This is the gray matter. You can call it belief systems, you can call it mindsets, you can call it all sorts of different things, but it's these beautiful, amazing brains that we've got that are then driving emotions, creating all sorts of connections that then have their effect on our plans and our strategies and our awesome technologies that affect our actions, that give us our results. What happens is the results that we have then refeed uh, the brains of our people and create the belief systems that are then driving the train tomorrow. Now, makes sense, right? How do we put a handle on this? All right, so let's take this hard stuff and take another look at it. There's only two things in this hard realm that we're really using. We've got our tools and we've got our targets. 
And this is really all day long as managers what it is that we're working on. Tools and targets, tools and targets, and the actions that surround them. This is what we got. And then what do we have? We saw it here. We've got emotions when things go well, and when people step out in tough situations and perform like champions and pull through. And then we've got the other stuff. And there we have the life, seemingly, of management and of the fate of most organizational initiatives. Does this have to be the way that it is? I say no. Why? The ability to create and get aware of one's context, a team's context, one's belief system that is then driving the emotions. And each manager and each consultant that can learn how to do this is going to have much greater impact with their projects to achieve the results necessary and drive the actions to achieve the results. Now, what does this look like? It's like, whoa, what are we tr we're trying to put these things into this frame? Again, we're going with something that is binary. Why? A, it's simple. B, it works. What do we have here in the realm of emotions that detract from our work? What I will call survival mechanisms. It's basically the belief systems that drive the emotions that get in the way. We can just leave it at that. More training on how to unpack those, how to recognize those, and how to raise individuals and teams awareness of those in another time. And on the top, you can read that. It is essence. A word for what each of us have inside of us and each team has inside of it that can be brought out to have performance at a championship level. Feed the belief systems on a cycle that feeds from essence much more than survival mechanism and you will have a system that is building up and results that are being fed from essence. More on how to do this in another training. If you have any questions, you'd like to get in touch, you can reach me at, at bizdevjedi. This is Jack Plehall, founder of Being Solutions, signing off. Thank you.